Hi, I'm Lim. So today we have a case that is about iPhone XR. <coughs> so the Typhoon iPhone XR that have a touch problem after we fix something. Let's say, I, I believe this will happen in a lot of places, okay? Let's say the dealer or, or the shop, he try to fix something for you. Let's uh, example, changing a battery or maybe cleaning some dust on the inside or cameras, stuff like that, just a simple stuff like that. And then they end up with the screen unable to touch. So this is my screen, so I will show you. Mm. It can be touched, right? It's normal, it can be slide up, right? So this is my screen. And every time you change the screen, remember to unplug the battery, okay? So now I put the owner screen on it. Okay, so it's fully connected. As you can see, it's fully connected. Okay, plug in. You don't need to connect the face ID in order to test it. Turn on. I believe most of them they try another screen and it works. So they will think how the hell I shot at the L C D screen. So you see it's unable to touch, unable to slide up. So let's say if I want to try to turn off nothing can touch okay so it is not happened one time it's few times already another day the same case is repeating again so my team the first level team they were sent to me I will diagnose the screen what's wrong with the screen are they accidentally shot at the screen Let's say if you are forgot to unplug the battery and you unplug the screen first, there might be a chance that the screen will be short. So there will be my thing like that. And so before we jump to conclusion, so the first level team they were sent to us. So we will use microscope and run some diagnosis on the screen. Okay. So now we will look at what happened to the screen. So this time. I will carefully unplug and then uh, I will show you under the microscope. So, eventually, what happened? It is because first I show show you the flags so the first thing we always inspect the flags let's see is the flags condition see the flags condition is it okay so if flags condition okay so normally we don't suspect the flags issue then we will jump to the connector here we will try to measure the resistance from the connector himself right and now by measure the connector, I found out. So this will be the common problem for anyone. Uh, most of the people, I say. Okay, check the resistance. If you compare to the good screen, when you measure one by one, the red on the ground, so the black on the pin you want to measure. So you will see every pin, most of them have resistance. Just compare it with another screen, okay? And you will find out this pin counting from inside here, the flux of inside number four. One, two, three, four, like this. So this one is totally don't have the resistance. It does it lost the resistance. There's no value on this pin, mean it's misconnection. So check all the 
So this number four, and we zoom in and see, you might find something suspicious. So it's nothing broken here, but there's a little dent on the flex itself, on the on the side ending ending side. So strange, huh? So let's before we of course we need to know what what kind of line is it is it about the touch and is it come with a resistance it's easy just go to the pc and we see the schematic so now i'm looking at the 10r so these two fpc connector is so this is this part is about lcd display so when you click on it you can see the name is about display and so I will just directly check the other side. This is the, the flex that connect to here. So as I said, counting from inside the flex and then go to outside, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, like this. So when I click on it, as I say in previous video, every time you see a razor, the term name razor is about the touch. So this is SPIAP means is go to the CPU itself. You click on the other side and then you, you can see there's a highlight on here so if it lost the connection of this one if you lost the connection of here the touch will become like this totally fail unable to touch at all but of course the resistance should be measured should be ref referred to a uh, from a good screen it's not from the schematic board okay you have to take another screen that's why just now I have another screen. So this is another screen. So the, this one is the broken one. One, two, three, four. And we measure. No resistance, okay? So now we measure another screen, which is my screen. The good condition. So one, two, three, four. When I plus on it, did you see seven, seven hundred seventy-three resistance? Okay, zero point seven seven three. So it means this line is broken. As as our as our visual inspection, we can see that the line. We are zooming. We can see that the line is go to here, and then it's become broken. So the line is should be go from here. Should be from here to here. All right. So why it happened like this is usually it's kind of like my back habit as well. It's also one of my back habit. Okay, because as you as you can see, the metal that protect the FPC flex here, the metal that protect the heat is smaller than the flex itself. So every time when you try to unplug, let's say I use the finger try to unplug. So the outside of the flex is easy, to, easily to get damage. It's very easy to be broken this side, even from this side. So if you open from this side, still the same. So there might be have a line. There's a trace in here. So the problem is actually happened because when we unplug the flex, the habit of unplug flex, we are using the finger and the tweezer. Or maybe we are going too hard. I repaired the first generation iPhone until now, really. The first gen is 2G version, until now. We never see this kind of flexes weak like that, you know. So that's how the technician unplugged the flex from the LCD, right? So this is very hard to avoid, to unplug the flex from the board by not damaging this. So you have to careful. 
you have to extremely unplug it as soft as you can okay so if like this condition you might wonder can it still be fixed yeah of course it can still be fixed as long you have the correct tools so we need to do the micro soldering now i will do a very small jumper from here and then directly to here okay so this side is completely gone already you see it's broken so yeah we take it off see how it goes so i will take this off you see it's cracked already so i will ignore it just cut it off cut the shit off man to be shorter because I, I don't want this to be broken again that's why I have to push to inside okay more inside put on the UV we should always measure the resistance first so the red goes here and the black goes here and you see the resistance is back so another 70 so almost the same yep. somehow you are the end user it happened on another shop and then they argue with you please collect back the LCD the old LCD original one okay it can be fixed so you just have to bring to someone like me or just show them the video so they will know what to do okay so remember keep your old screen so don't argue with them take back your old screen and fix it in somewhere else okay so don't let them to charge you another screen replacement again okay. but most of the shop outside they try to find they try to earn the quick money usually they will argue with you so as if you are an end user remember don't argue with them if you have exactly the same problem the screen can be turned on cannot be touched collect the screen back okay take it back and then find someone else if you bring it to me, I won't charge expensive. This is just one jumper issue. Unless you have more damage than this this thing. Okay. Okay. It's, it's dry already. Okay. So let's try. Okay, you see, can touch already. It's like no problem. Bing, bing. Good. So that's how you fix the iPhone XR. A touch problem, but the touch problem only happened after someone tampered your phone. Okay, someone been open it before. So if you have this case, it can be repaired easily, no problem. So remember, don't throw your screen, okay? For for the dealer, don't don't throw it. Just keep the screen, okay? And find someone who can do micro soldering and repair. It. Okay, and that's it for the sharing. See you guys next time. Bye.